Hello everyone. In this video, I want to share you, with you some background information of what God has revealed before this sign of the Son of Man that we see so beautiful, be beautifully drawn on the heavenly canvas with the two comets that I have been talking to you about. Last year, back in January 15th, 2022, we heard the news about the unprecedented explosion of the Honga Tonga volcano. This is a news that was reaching the whole world and had a lot of repercussions that scientists informed about in the following year. I have a video called The Eruption That Reached the Stars that talks about that and all the information that shows how great this explosion was. Now, during that time, we were studying the heavens and we recognize that there was a comet, Comet uh, 2021 or three pan stars, that exactly on that date of the explosion was at the hand of Aquarius. Now, in prophetic understanding of the heavens, Aquarius represents God Father from whom the water of life emanates. Now, men have twisted the meaning to think it is the LGBT God, but it is God Father who was shown, highlighted at that time. Now, later on, some days later, um, the comet went into the constellation of Pisces. And then we recognized that this was representing the fulfillment of the prophecy of the mighty angel that took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, Thus, with violence, the great city Babylon shall be thrown down and shall be found no any more. This was a representation in the heavens to what happened on the earth with this great volcano explosion. Now, exactly at that time as well, on January 15, 2022, another comet, the greatest comet ever seen, called Bernardinelli Bernstein, was right now, right there at the Horologium constellation, and it was indicating the midnight hour. So we saw, wow, this cannot be a coincidence. Then later on, we published an article called The Father Has Declared the Time. Why did we say that? Because in the Bible, in Matthew 24, it says, uh, Jesus said, but of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So it should be in the power of the Father to declare the time. And this is also a biblical understanding because in Acts 1, verses 7 through 8, Jesus answered the question of the disciples about the time. He said, and he said to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. This is pointing to the end of time. And Jesus uh, shared with his disciples, and we are his disciples that uh, have believed in him, that the, 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 the Father that has the power in his own authority will give us the power. That means that he will give a revelation. And this year... Uh, on May, March, sorry, March 5th, 2023, yet another comet, Comet K2, reached the same point that was marked a year before by Comet Bernardinetti Bernstein to indicate the midnight hour. And what happened at that time? If you read the news about what is happening to the banks in the United States, the banking system has been collapsing since then and is continuing. Now, we have shared how the sign of the Son of Man started on March 12th when even more news reached about this financial crisis. Now, we see that the fall of Babylon has started and it will continue to do so throughout the time of the sign. And we can have confidence that the Lord is showing the fulfillment of his prophecy and that we can be secured in him. I wanted to share all this information with you because I think it's important that you see how the Lord has shown in an amazing way with his comets 
in the heavenly signs the time and we can learn from him and we invite you to come and to read all the articles that we have in this section the bridegroom cometh and go ye out to meet him so that you can be prepared for him at his coming that is very soon